Welcome, people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check. This is our bi-weekly look at the highest selling vintage t-shirts on eBay. So let's see what t-shirts made the list this week. Oh. All right, kicking us off at number 10, we have this vintage Nightcrawler Marvel comic book, or comic images, 1996 t-shirt. Uh, not really a lot of good photos of this thing. I don't know why they're all cropped like this, and this one's super dark. Uh, but they did take some of this off. Uh, super cool t-shirt. We have seen this one, I think, before, um, or something very, very similar. This is one of the uh, comic Marvel comic book tees. Uh, that came out in the later 90s. Uh, these actually seem to be sort of moving up in value, uh, the later 90s stuff. They're, obviously, everyone has heard about the early 90s, the big Oliver prints and stuff, uh, but these sort of rarer ones that we find um, from the late 90s seem to be doing a little bit better. This one sold for $800 uh, with 37 bids plus shipping. Uh, pretty impressive. Uh, the seller cards rock actually shows up several times on this list uh, And I think we'll find out why this one says it's new without tags uh, Yeah, it's because these guys had a comic and card shop uh, And so apparently these were all sold in comic book stores and so uh, we might find uh, They have quite a few of these pretty rare pieces uh, to be sold uh, Now at number nine we have what is probably one of my favorites uh, for sure on this list, uh, this vintage 1991 Bolt Master, uh, War Master Tour. Uh, I freaking loved Bolt Thrower as a youth. Uh, this one is super cool and in super good condition. Look at that. There's a little bit of cracking, but not a whole lot. Um, on the Fruit of the Loom XL, one of my favorite tags. Uh, this thing is super sick. Uh, the long sleeve still is pretty dope in my opinion. Uh, long sleeves, I think, are a little bit underrated. Uh, super cool. There are the tour dates, I guess, right there. Yeah, that's super cool. Uh, wicked, wicked t-shirt. This one sold for uh, $888 with free shipping. Definitely one of my favorites on the list. Another freaking good one. This is the Vintage Swerve Driver T-Shirt XL. Another long sleeve on this list. We've got the uh, sort of water gun here. Uh, this, man, these are some freaking good T-Shirts. Uh, here's the Swerve Driver Duel. Um, photos aren't great, but, you know, that's sort of come to be expected. Somehow, these photos can be all janky and they still sell for a lot of money. But <laughs> a rare T-Shirt here. The first time we've seen it on this list, for sure. It sold for $1,025, 20 bids, and uh, plus shipping. A beautiful t-shirt from the uh, Shoegaze uh, band Swerve Driver. All right, this one might compete for my favorite t-shirt on the list. Uh, this is the Black Flag My War 1984 t-shirt. This thing looks super good. Uh, the, the, the graphics in pretty good condition, considering this is from the mid-80s. Uh, on the Miller tag side two on the back man i freaking loved black flag growing up still love black flag uh, this one is awesome uh, this is a tough t-shirt to find um, there are other black flag t-shirts out there but this one i think is a, a quite a bit more rare you can obviously see that there's quite a bit of interest in this t-shirt it did go for 1150 dollars with 59 bids let's see how many people there were nine bidders so some there's some you know some people working really hard to try to get this t-shirt uh, this one's a hard one to come by. Let's see if they have... It says it's uh, size medium, so not particularly large. Yeah, not a particularly large t-shirt, but super, super cool t-shirt nonetheless. All right, we have another one of the comic images from the late 90s. Here we have the Psylocke and Crimson... Uh, was it Crimson Dawn Angel? Uh, this one's a little kind of funky. The graphic doesn't seem like it's completely lined up. Um, but it is a, uh, t-shirt that I don't think we've seen on this list before. Uh, the wings are a little cut off on the image, uh, but it appears that it was brand new. Here's a tag from, uh, <laughs> imagine only paying, uh, like 11, 25 for a t-shirt like this. Uh, that would be incredible. Uh, we have the Mark Athletic. I've never seen this tag before. Maybe I'm, maybe, maybe it's all over the place and I'm just, I'm unaware, but anyway, uh, looks like a great t-shirt. They say it is new without tags. Uh, it does have a little stamp. Uh, I'm 
liable to believe them on this one. Uh, here's Cards Rock again, uh, selling this T-shirt for a pretty, pretty, pr pretty penny uh, for twelve hundred dollars with thirty-eight bids. Another uh, T-shirt people are really trying to get their hold of. Uh, twelve bidders, uh, obviously probably a rare T-shirt. Uh, the Marvel collectors definitely uh, trying to get their hands on some of these rare t-shirts for sure, especially in this condition. Beautiful t-shirt. Uh, then up next we have the 1990 Sonic Youth Dirty Rock Band t-shirt, Bomb, uh, Pop, Ice, Saturn, Ra, Sun, Ra, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, we have the Sonic Youth t-shirt, the Melting Popsicle here, Saturn on the back, beautiful. I love the back hit. This is a super cool back hit in my opinion. Uh, uh, Sonic Youth, obviously a you know iconic band uh, really great t-shirt what size is this t-shirt in it's size large not too bad um, so beautiful t-shirt looks like it's in fantastic condition maybe a couple of flaws here and there but largely uh, pretty good it's on the fruit of the loom tag size large one of my favorite tags like I've said many times before uh, but anyway this t-shirt went for twelve hundred and fifty dollars plus shipping uh, exceptionally dope tea Here's a really interesting one at number four. We have this 1995 Cranberries t-shirt still in the original record store packaging. And it says uh, times two. So there's two of these t-shirts. Uh, it probably would have been, uh, this may have been a steal to be honest to some degree um, with dead stock t-shirt like this. I can't even see the whole graphic. I'm not even sure I've seen the whole graphic in the past before, um, but still looks great. Uh, obviously getting anything like this it's on there's the the gem tag uh, getting anything like this in such good condition uh, this many years later um, is definitely a good buy normally we don't put lots on the list but uh, this one made the list because I think it's pretty exceptional uh, this one sold for fifteen hundred dollars for both t-shirts uh, with free shipping uh, I wish we had I'll have to look up a a different uh, if I can find the full version of the shirt but still zombie right there incredible t-shirt at number three we have this rare Yoko Ono book grapefruit uh, grapefruit uh, t-shirt uh, I have never seen this t-shirt before and it's clearly definitely like a 70s 80s t-shirt definitely has that sort of you can see the poly blend sort of pilling on the shirt itself Yoko Ono obviously sort of an iconic figure and Beatles lore. Uh, I cannot tell exactly what tag that is. I don't know if they show you the front side. A few little defects. Looks like it might be a sort of a, a thicker t-shirt, maybe. Almost, the, the collar certainly looks thicker. Uh, but obviously a rare print and rare design. Anything that's gonna be associated with the Beatles that's legit, like, uh, like legit from the era, is gonna do pretty well. And this one certainly did. It went for $1,370 with 15 bids, plus shipping. Super cool t-shirt, super interesting piece of history here. Next up we have this vintage 1960s new old stock Ed Roth Rat uh, Fink t-shirt. Uh, this one seems pretty wild. I mean, I know that the some of the Rat Fink stuff does, does go pretty well. There's the uh, Roth from 1966. Looks like it is in pretty pristine condition. There's the uh, Roth Monster shirts. Uh, rare piece. I it seems a little bit high to me. Um, uh, I again don't know everything about T-shirts, and maybe this T-shirt is a bit rarer. Uh, maybe it does deserve the price, but it did go for fifteen hundred dollars, according to my research, plus shipping. Um, seems a little bit high, but then again, if this is that old, uh, it makes some sense for sure, especially in this condition. Uh, really cool and dope-looking shirt. Uh, $1,500 seems like a lot, but you know what? Uh, it might not be. Uh, definitely a cool t-shirt and one we have not seen yet on this list. Now before we get to number one, if you've ever wondered how to identify vintage t-shirts, vintage clothes, Levi's, etc. in general, we have a really awesome playlist of uh, dozens of resource videos that you can watch at your leisure to learn all about how to identify a bunch of these valuable vintage brands. Just check the I above and it will take you to where you need to go to see all of the videos that we have in the library. At number one, this is an obscure one, Scratch Acid. This is uh, one of those early pioneering uh, noise rock bands from the 80s. 
so uh, they were, I mean, sort of a big deal within sort of the genre and and definitely probably had uh, a bit more influence on other bands that got big. Uh, but this is one of those obscure band t-shirts from the era that uh, just never comes up. Uh, and so uh, paying a pretty penny for it makes sense because you may never find it again. And a pretty penny was paid for this t-shirt. Uh, it sold for $1,600, uh, $1,625 with 25 bids. Uh, let's see how many people were sort of getting in, involved in this one. Only six bids, but still pretty good. At number one, we have this Scratch Acid Noise Band t-shirt. So this week's list had lots of variety, lots of t-shirts we probably will never see again because they just don't come up very often in the first place. So uh, really grateful to have captured a few of those uh, and check them out before they went on to the respective owners. So thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We'll see you guys later. Peace.